Hello guys, this is Love Tools. Today I'd like to show you a fun little tool. It's a knife. It's a very nice knife. And it's from Singapore. Um, before I talk about the details, I'd like to show you where you can get them. Um, this is crimshides.com. I'll put the link in the description box. And if you go to this website, you see Leathercraft Tools. If you click that, you'll see a list of knives and you see this Ingenuity single zinc alloy craft pen knife and you can change it into US dollar and then you can see it's in the US dollar yep. and this is a pen knife it's a uh, 11 US dollars it's cheap but it's very fun it's very nice yeah, so I'll show you why. So um, normally I would, when I use a quick sharp edge, if I don't go through a sharpening phase of sharpening stones, and I go for this type of blades, a one-time use single one uh, blades that you can change rapidly and easily, which is quite nice because you can get this readily available blades quite cheaply but the only downside is that you have to keep buy them and you i normally use this but this type of big long blades for certain jobs for example if i need to sacrifice my edge to certain things if i cut something really hard i don't want to damage my knife or uh, if i want to have a um, if i want to cut a lot of things and I, need, I don't want to sharpen uh, each blade so often I just change my blade quickly and a lot of people who cannot really sharpen the knife very sharp you need to um, have by these type of blades because the sharp edge is most important in terms of cutting and especially uh, female I'm not sexist but uh, if you are female and um, you, you are having trouble sharpening uh, knives these type of knives are um, your choice yeah if there's nothing wrong with it it's just uh, there's a um, aesthetic part of having a sharp edge blade on your own with the sharpening stones yeah that's it if you're not really incapable just buy these yeah and normally when you have this type of blade you have to lock your blade by turning this knob so that when you cut, this blade doesn't go back. So if you don't have this type of feature, let's say your knife doesn't have this type of feature, when you cut it, this knife will slide back down. Yeah. So lots of knives has um, different functions to it, but I I seem to find this type of locking motion into a place it has no blade play is a quite quite nice secure option. And each time I do it, I have to turn it around and then well, just in case I turn it back here. So I turn the knobs. And until I met this knife, you know, this, this was, I thought it was okay enough until I met this knife. This knife, however, uh, it works like a type of small gun or 007 devices. Um, it uses excuse me it uses sk2 plus chrome blade uh, which is not bad uh, this is um, high chrome um, cord worked uh, steel um, high carbon steel also um, I believe it's not stainless though but that doesn't matter because uh, you can change your blades in terms of anything you can change you can use your anti cutter blade uh, you can use your Ofa blade. Uh, this is standardized blade, so uh, when it comes to blade, you can use your own type. So wherever you are, uh, if you are easy uh, to get anti cutter blade, that's good. If you are easy to get uh, Ofa cutter blade, that's good also. Those fits that these. These are the white blades, but these are the smaller ones, normal standard ones that you will find it anywhere in stainless um shops. Yeah. So the body is made of 
zinc alloy as states here it says zinc alloy craft knife and zinc alloy um, I I have a military background um, that's where I started my um, guns and knives um, passion started and zinc alloy is used in uh, military uh, equipment uh, of course zinc alloy is not that um, high-end uh, material so zinc alloy is used in um, only certain places um, especially the pommel of the knife military knife when you attach your knife to your gun that intricate part is made of zinc alloy cast yeah so zinc alloy is used in certain type of casting material and this knife is uh, made of zinc alloy also which is not bad it has a quite weight sturdy feel to it you know? so um, you don't have to unscrew this um, part you don't touch this so normally you when you want to deploy when you want to have your edge you take out this lever which stays lock you know it says lock okay and if you um, come on focus yeah and then you push your blade and then you lock that's it it's very stable no movement at all it's very convenient you know? of course the edge is sharp the blade that comes with together with this knife very sharp knife And then you can get next sharp edge by breaking in this one one part and one part you will have a sharp edge yeah so it's very sturdy it doesn't move at all so when you want to move it back into one to original place you take out this lever again pull lock so it's lock no blade comes out so you can carry in your pocket or child safe I should say so again and you lock it, unlock it like this, push, lock it, no movement. Yeah? It's very simple and it's very convenient. And that's not it. One last feature about this blade is quite unique. You know, normally if you want to change your blade with this type of blade, for example, you use the until the end to it, end to it, and you want to change your blade. You want to take out this part, so then you have to take out that like this, yeah, and then you get new blade, place it, and then you insert it like this, and then like so, and boom. So this is how they do it normally. Most 99% of knives I've seen. In Japan and South Korea, I like this. It's a it's almost this method is standardized. This knife, however, is very clever. So you first unlock it, you push to the maximum, and then you just take it out. It's this easy. And then you suppose let's say this is the new blade. You get it. That's it. Yeah, this is how the mechanism works. It's quite interesting, right? So I'll show you again. Unlock it. Use it. Doesn't go back. When you want to change your blade, push it to this while this unlocked. Push it to this until this maximum. Boom. When this part touches here you just simply grab it and then when you want to change your blade insert new blade just push it like so 
Boop. Bam. 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 Yeah? That's it. It's really easy, fun little knife. Very convenient. I like it a lot. I like the blade. In fact, I like the blade that... Um, I like this concept because um, this company doesn't require that you buy the knife blade from this company. You can get the knife blade from other company as well. They make incredible choice that you can you can experience different type of blades. Um, I don't have any uh, other type of blades, but even if it's the same standardized blades, you can get different types of coatings and materials and grinds. Uh, there are so many different type of blade in Japan, especially uh, Antique Cutter Japan offers whole variety of um, different type of blade and seals when this comes to uh, uh, replacement blades. So if you can get the blades, you can just easily put them, put it here, and you can use that uh, blade with your with your knife. So yeah, so you can keep this convenient mechanism with your fancy blades. So I like this concept. Um, so. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in the description box where you can get it. It's crimsonhides.com and they offer um, very good shipping worldwide and they have a very good communication and um, they, they offer very quality products. Alright, so thanks for watching guys as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.